So this is Zool uh, on the Amiga, and this is a request by uh, Mindstorm XL and Baggy Boy 83. So this is a game about some kind of alien space ninja who invades a world made of lollipops. I, I, I don't know. There's a comic that comes with it actually. I saw it. Um, well, in a, I showed you in a video uh, that I'll link to here, where I was looking through the boxed copy that my friend Jason has. Uh, so anyway, let's uh, let's get into it. <laughs> I thought that was a loading screen, like Spectrum style. Then he flies into view, like, "Ooh, prepare yourself. Ooh, I'm prepared. I'm ready for anything." Uh, yeah, that's what you think, but then you play Amiga games. Okay, so. We're this, uh, this... Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> yeah, I haven't played this before. I think I played maybe a demo a very long time ago, but I don't remember it very well. And, uh, yeah, it's just so gaudy! The colours! And, yeah, I, want, I, feel, I think you can guess where the, where the sponsorship for this game came from. I mean, the weird... Whoa! The weird thing about this to me is he's, he's obviously some kind of ninja, but it's a misconception that ninjas always wear black. They really, they, they're fucking respawning enemies. Oh, you can jump, you can, oh, damn it. You can grab onto the sides, that's cool, I didn't realise that. Um, oh, you can bounce on them as well. Yeah, ninjas don't wear black necessarily, they just try to blend into the surroundings. So, if he really wanted to blend into the surroundings here, he'd like wear some kind of, you know, he'd dress, he dressed as a giant lollipop or something. Damn it, I can't get up. Uh, there we go, uh, wall jumping. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, what's this? I'm gonna hit that. Oh, oh god, bees! <laughs> oh my god, not the bees! Oh god, and spikes, brilliant. Oh, oh, come on! It's kind of oh, that's too bad. Um, yeah, you didn't expect me to be. Oh, that's nice. It actually starts you off uh, a little bit uh, from where you came from. That's cool. It's kind of hard for me to see the difference between the background and the foreground sometimes because it's so... oh my god. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's quite... quite colourful. It's insane. Um, yeah, <laughs> floating licorice of all sorts. I kind of want to go to this dimension. Um, although, actually, having said that, giant bees and uh, spikes everywhere might not be worth the... Uh, uh, Great availability of sweets and you know a die of like, diabetes within an insulin shock within about 15 minutes. For God's sake, I'm too bad at this. <laughs> okay, get the sweets. I guess that's my energy bar at the top. It'd be nice if that was restored by the sweets, but I don't think it is. Oh, okay. shoot them all! Ah. Oh, I can shoot when I'm. I don't know how I did that. Some kind of spin move. Yeah, that's cool. How do I do that? Whoa! Oh no! <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Watch me fail. Again. The same part over and over again. Damn it! Okay. I think I should stop trying to rush through and just kill everything. But then they, the enemies respawn. Damn, the enemies respawn. Lollipops? Oh, no. Okay. Did I just see a heart fly up there that I missed? Oh well. Blind leap! Oh, it's risky. My tempt I, I'm, I'm always tempted to just try to run through and, you know, sod the consequences. And, oh, oh, okay. I just really want to avoid those bees. It takes, a li there's a little bit of slow responsiveness. Look, this is, look, you see, he runs and speeds up a bit like Sonic. Although not nearly as fast, of course. I could never deal with Sonic speed. Ah! Hit. Is that just going to summon more bees? Mm, I don't know. God, look at these chocolate bars and lollipops. It's insane. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I've been I've got a mirror image sort of thing going on. That's very strange. I don't know what that means. So yeah, there's uh, not too much to say about this. It's a pretty standard platformer with uh, a, a shockingly gaudy aesthetic. Um, it's quite fun though. The, the the wall jumping is very nice. Ow! You know, if you're competent at platformers, then you might enjoy this. Um, but with my abilities, it's inevitable that I'm not going to get far. 
Let's see, I have a time limit at the top. Okay, that's great. As if this wasn't stressful enough. And I have an energy bar which has one thing left and I'm kicking also while shooting. What am I shooting? I'm shooting out of my face, but also throwing I don't know. Hmm. You'd think he'd throw like ninja stars or something, but Ah! Damn it. Ah, into my name. Really? Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> I thought it was a um sort of you know, move the joystick to select things. Ah, press space for options. Let's see what the options are. Uh, level. Not. Can we make it super easy? Yeah, super easy. Effects. Rock. Music. Uh, okay, let's go with uh, green. I don't know what green music sounds like. I want to find out. Leave the inertia on. Cunts. Or oh, cons. Continues. So that's that's good. Let's put it all the way up. Speed. How oh, fast or normal? Well, let's just try fast, just to see what it's like. Because that wasn't fast, apparently. Well, this looks rather fast. <laughs> he didn't make his noise. Why didn't he make the noise? Maybe he's too, he's too fast for it. He's actually being sneaky now. Ah, yeah. This. Whoa! Are you kidding me? This is insane. How could you play like this? There's no sound. Oh, that's because I don't the effects sort of before. This is mental. <laughs> Fuck me. I don't think it's supposed to run that fast. It might be because I'm running it on emulation or something, but. Like it's it's supposed to be, you know, emulating properly. Usually it doesn't have this kind of speed problem with Amiga games, but oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to play like this. It's crazy. <laughs> My God, Let's talk about a speed run. <laughs> like you're on the speed. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. This is actually like Sonic, but all the time, like always at maximum speed. <laughs> oh, it can slide. That's cool. I should really figure out how to do that spinny move because that's probably going to help me quite a bit. I think it's just... Uh, yeah. I can kind of do it. But there we go. I don't know how I'm doing it. I'm just kind of mashing... I've, I've, it's, usually, it's usually up to jump, but I've, I've, I've mapped a button to press up. So yeah, that's kind of helpful. Because up to jump is always a bitch. Especially on the Amiga where you actually did could get to me, bust it. Oh. oh Okay, I'm not playing in this silly mode. How do I get out of this? I can't get out of it. I can't get out of stuck. Ah. No, I wanna go back to the menu. What the hell? He's he's dancing. <laughs> okay, come on, let me out of here. Ah. Okay. I set it back to normal speed and uh, turn the effects back on because uh, music is cool, but I prefer to have the sound effects. It's a shame you can't run both because most Amiga games could do that. I guess it's, maybe it's an early because it's an early game. Um, yeah, so let's see if I can get any further this time. Okay, and I figured out how to do that. You just basically press up and jump at the same time. I mean, jump and fire at the same time, and that's really good. That actually helps me deal with those bees quite effectively. If I just do that every time I jump, I'm just gonna, you know, be safer. That's pretty cool. Come on, bees. Haha, <laughs> that was no human bee. <laughs> hey, there's a, there's a life thing. Oh, damn it, I missed it. Okay, it's very small. Ah! I just gotta constantly jump. Just keep jumping. Just jump like mad. madman. I'm gonna get through this level. I, God damn it. Let me get through one level at least. That's all I have. Hit the thing for some reason. Come on, come on. Urgh. No! Ah, ah, bees! Ah, gotcha. Okay. I don't know how long the level is. Oh god! It's so difficult. But I can do this. I can do this. Jump, jump! Ah! Never been good at wall jumping. Ah. Okay, come on. Let's just be a little more patient. Stop running through like a nutter. And instead run through like a very rational person who only runs when it's necessary and never with scissors. Come on, polos. Oh, it's a polo, yeah. Ah! Okay, come on, licorice all sorts through the power of chocolate and sweets and diabetes. They will skunk on this world. Yeah. I wonder what the plot for this game is. I remember it 
meaning so oh, something about um, spaceships and lasers or something. I don't remember. Like he's from. There was this little comic that came with it. I'll, I've shown you already, haven't I? In, in, uh, in the animation. Didn't really get a good look at it. Right. Ah! This is really hard to to get out of there. I'm stuck in that hole. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's just move on then. No! Jump, jump! No! Oh, so difficult! Okay. Oh yes, I did it! Level complete. There. I have beaten the game as well as I could, ever could by getting onto the area 1.2, not even a legit level 2. But, you know. Uh, anyway, quick first impression. This is uh, quite fun, quite difficult, quite unbelievably gaudy to look at, and I just got killed by a licorice all sort. So, this is Zool. Uh, remember, there is no Dana, only Zool. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.